So now if you ask me, I think the quintessential color of summer is the color of the mango. There shouldn't even be like, there should be just a color designated called mango. It's like red, orange, yellow. You know, none of those colors really, really are descriptive enough to convey what the color of a mango is. Uh, so there you go. There's the color of summer. We're just gonna make a new color from here on out. It's gonna be called mango. It's going to be that color right there. And that color. So, but of course, some mangoes have different coloration. And it looks like the sugar loaf has a, a lighter color. See here? Maybe, maybe because of the ripening, but just a slightly lighter color than the common variety here that uh, has no name, um, as far as I know. And uh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna go for the taste test. So I believe my mango, it was a little bruised, but I think that's just fresh from today. So there's really no problem with that. I guess I'll go with the common one first. The common one is really, really good. And here we go. You want a good view behind me, right? Like, uh, let me zoom out so not super focused in on the copious amount of whiskers that I happen to have in my face because I've been too lazy to shave. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, God. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. What? Is that a seal? Yeah. It's one of the seals I swim with. See? There he is, bobbing his little head around down there. I will literally go down there and swim with those seals. Uh, he is right, uh, right there. Oh, oh, I can't see him anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's still there. Anyway, eating mangoes in front of my favorite friends. And uh, I think it's a seal. Anyway, all right, that was really, really good. Let's go for sugar loaf. See if it has any more loaf of sugar in it. Mmm. Wow. That's like mango, but super tangy. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. So if you really get in this mango thing, it's like butter. It's like butter. Look at it. And because it's bruised, but it is coming off like butter. Like butter on a really warm day. This has a really complex flavor to it, especially tangy, almost like a like a mandarin mixed with a mango. And it's really refreshing. It has a refreshing, like, like spritey taste to it. The other one was this plain sugar sweet mango. Uh, so this is interesting. What you'll find over the time that you uh, try these different mangoes, make sure if, look, the, the most important thing to know about when you're tasting mangoes, lots of paper towels. You can't have enough paper towels. These things are sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. I think that was a bird now that I look at it down there. It's not a seal. It's floating. It's not moving. Uh, anyway, yeah, so you have lots of paper towels. And thing you'll notice is there are so many complex flavor profiles for all these different mangoes. You'd think they'd all be the same, but they're absolutely different from each other. And uh, people in Florida have a huge mango addiction over there. And they know. They get all these varieties. And we don't in California not very often so we do it's really prized to get them but uh they know all the varieties and the tastes and everything and they literally are obsessed with different varieties so this one's called sugar loaf it's really delicious and uh, what else can i say i'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit i'm gonna go a buddy's meeting up with my buddy at a mexican restaurant and then um i'll be hitting the road in the morning you know cruising 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 the highway and that's it. But right now, I am in paradise. Okay, so it turns out it's not a bird. It's not a plane. And it's not even a seal. That, my friends, is a lobster buoy. <laughs> I'm looking out right here, what I thought were seals. And then I thought, well, maybe those are birds. No, they're not birds or seals. Those are lobster buoys. Can you see those out there? They set these lobster traps out on the reef. And then uh, they mark them with their buoys and they come back the next day. And I believe you need permits and everything to do that. And then you're eating lobster caught from the Pacific Ocean. I can see a whole bunch of them out there. It must be lobster season right now. 
I guess my mango experience would have been, I thought it was as good as it could possibly be. There's a seal right over there, see him? He's right over there uh, But it would have been better if I had some lobsters, so maybe I'll have to figure out how to do that. Over and out.